In this video, we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations by graphing. A system of equations is two or more equations. They can also be called a linear system. The solution of a system of linear equations in two variables is an ordered pair. Remember, those ordered pairs are x, y. A solution of a linear system of equations can be found graphically by substitution or by elimination. Today, we are going to be focusing on graphing. The solution to a linear system by as the point at which the two lines intersect. So we're going to be looking for where the two lines meet or where the two lines cross. So there are three different things that can happen when you graph two lines. You can have two lines that intersect. So these are intersecting lines, two lines that meet. You can have two parallel lines, or you can have two cosident lines. And if you look here, you're saying, well, I only see one line. Well, that's because it's two lines on top of itself. So they end up being the same line. That's what this means, the same line. So every time you graph two lines, one of these three things will happen. If you have two intersecting lines, then the point where those two lines meet is the answer. These two lines will have different slopes. They intersect at one point and their solution is an ordered pair. You will have no solution when you have parallel lines. Parallel lines are when you have the same slope but different y-intercepts. These two lines will never meet and so our answer will be no solution. So here our answer is x comma y. Here our answer is no solution. And then when we have the same line, that means we have the same slope and the same y-intercept. They intersect at every point. Now you could write your answer one of two ways. You could say infinite solutions or you could say all real numbers. Both of these are correct. Infinite solutions means that you have infinitely many solutions. It means you have so many solutions that you can't even count them all because they go on for infinity because they touch at every single point and so every single point is a solution. An easier way of saying that is all real numbers. So all of the numbers that are real are solutions to this system of equations. So when you get um, the same line, you'll just say all real numbers or infinite solutions. Both of these are correct. So two lines that cross, where they cross is your answer. Two parallel lines, so same slope, different y-intercept, no solution. And two of the same line is all real numbers. Down here, we have the steps for graphing a linear system. So step number one is to graph the first equation. Step number two is to graph the second equation. And step number three is to identify the point of intersection and state the solution. So let's try that with a few examples. So for this first one, I have y equals 2x plus 1. This is in slope-intercept form. Remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. To graph these, we're going to begin with b, our y-intercept, and we're going to move with m, our slope. So if I begin with b for this equation right here, b is 1. So I'm going to go to 1 on my y-axis. I'm going to move with m. My slope is 2. So remember, that's 2 over 1. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1. Remember for slope, if your slope is positive, you will go up and to the right or down and to the left. If your slope is negative, you'll go up and to the left or down and to the right. 
So for my slope, or for my, yeah, for my slope, I'm going to go from my y-intercept up to over 1, up to over 1. I can also go down to left 1, down to left 1, down to left 1. And then I'm going to connect these points in a line. And lines go on forever, so I'm going to want to use my arrows. Now I need to graph the other line. Notice here I just have y equals a number. Remember that whenever you have y equals a number, that was a horizontal line. y equals 1 right here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my horizontal line there. Oops, let me just fix that. And here are my arrows. So now we need to figure out, do we have intersecting lines, parallel lines, or the same line? Well, these two lines cross. Where do these two lines meet? They meet at this point right here, so that point is my answer. So my answer is the point 0, 1. Remember, your answer is always going to be x comma y. We go 0 on our x-axis and up to 1 on our y-axis. So this is my answer. Let's try that again with example 2. I'm going to begin by graphing that first line. This first line is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to begin with b. B. B is 2, so I'm going to go to 2 on my y-axis. I'm going to move with m. My slope is 1 half, so that means I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Up 1 and over 2. I can also go down 1 and to the left 2. Down 1 and to the left 2. And then I'm going to graph my line and have arrows on either end. For my other equation, I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to begin with b. Here b is negative 1. I'm going to move with m. Here my slope is also negative 1. So that means I'm going to go down 1 and right 1. And I'm going to do that the whole way down my graph. I can also go up one and left one. And I'm going to do that the whole way up my graph. From there, I can connect my points to make a line. And I'm going to make sure that I have arrows on either end. For these two equations, do these two equations intersect? Are the lines parallel or are they the same line? They intersect. They intersect at this point right here. What is that point? That point is negative 2, positive 1. This is my answer. If we go to the next page, and we look at example 3. Here we want to graph y equals negative 4x plus 5. So I'm going to begin with b. Here b is 5. So I'm going to go to 5 on my y-axis. I'm going to move with m. Here my slope is negative 4. If it helps you, you could say that's 4 over 1. So we're going to go down 4 and to the right 1. So I'm going to count down 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1. I could also go up 4 and to the left 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1. From here, I'm going to connect my points to make a line. And I'm going to make sure to use my arrows. For the other equation, I'm going to begin with b. 
Here B is 5. I'm going to move with M. My slope is negative 4. Hey, this is the same y-intercept and the same slope. So when I graph these two lines, they're the same exact line. Here, these two lines are touching at every single point and all the points in between. When you have two lines that are the same, that means that our answer is all real numbers. So my answer for this one is all real numbers. Or you could say infinite solutions because they are touching at every single point on these two lines. So this is my answer. Let's try that again with example four. So on example four, I have x equals three. This is not in slope intercept form. Here I have x equals a number. When you have x equals a number, that means that you have a vertical line. Well, x equals three right here. So I am going to draw a vertical line where x equals three. I'm gonna make sure I include my arrows. My other equation is x equals negative one. Again, I have x equals a number, so this is also a vertical line. x equals negative one right here. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line there. Oops, let me move that over a little bit. So here, I want to figure out where these two lines meet. Where do these two lines cross? If you can hear my cat eating in the background, I apologize. <laughs> these two lines do not cross. They're both vertical lines. They have the same slope. Both of these slopes are undefined. Even if I were to make this graph larger, these two lines would go straight up and down forever. These two lines are never going to meet. When you have two parallel lines, their answer is no solution because they never meet. They never cross. And so our answer here is no solution.